Sunday of Lent, we heard a familiar story of the Transfiguration. How Peter, James, and John go up to the mountain with Jesus, and they get a glimpse of his real identity, his true glory. They see him talking with Moses and Elijah. The scriptures say that his clothes were as dazzling as the sun. They get this glimpse of Jesus' glory on the way to Jerusalem, where they watch Jesus suffer and die. And the Transfiguration is a pit stop to give the apostles hope. So that when they see Jesus hanging on the cross, when they think all is lost, they can remember his glory. They can cling to that hope on the mountain to remember that he will triumph over sin and death. And my friends, as we're into our Lenten journey, we need that hope as well. Battling our own bad impulses, our own sins, trying to change our hearts and our behaviors is not easy work. It can be overwhelming. It can be difficult. Combined with that, the def definite struggles and difficulties of daily life, we can be like the apostles. We can feel like we're overwhelmed, like all is lost. But that's why we need the transfiguration as well. And on the second Sunday of Lent, that's why the church gives it to us, to give us once again that gift of hope, that through the struggles and the difficulties and the changes that Lent entails, we're never going to lose sight of who we saw on the mountain, Jesus in all of his glory, who promises us that through the difficulties and challenges of Lent and life, it is his glory that is the final answer. We not only can imagine that for the apostles, the difficulty and the horror of what they witnessed on Calvary was tempered by the remembrance of Jesus in his glory, that he could conquer sin and death by the one they saw on top of the mountain. Let us cling to that hope ourselves, not only through Lent, but in the daily turmoil and difficulties of life, so that Jesus in all of his glory may be where not only the hope we cling to, but where we place our faith and our confidence. Because we can never forget, Calvary was not the final answer. It led to the resurrection. At the Transfiguration, we get a glimpse of the resurrection. We get a glimpse of who Jesus truly is to help us find the strength and the courage to keep going. As we continue our journey to e through Easter, help let us pray that that gift, that glimpse of who Jesus really is, may strengthen us, fill us with hope, so that we can cling to him and find the courage and strength we need in our lives. Not a sermon or a homily, but just something to think about. Music